am. I'm finally actually doing a video on those uh, eight anime records that I got. Um, reason being is Facebook is where I was going to post them. Because I got no comments on my other video where I showed the uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and Hart, and then I said at the end, and I showed them as a tease, and there were no comments whatsoever. Funny thing was, just the day before, we were all discussing on Facebook on how uh, YouTube screwed up, and you're not getting notifications of comments. So I went to the actual video itself, and lo and behold, you guys actually wanted me to do a video on them. So I'm like, well, I'm running out of time, so I still got to make one. I wasted the whole day, but I'm going to put one out tonight. And I decided instead of doing one long video, I'm going to split it up into, like, little mini videos. Um, of the eight, though, three of them are linked. They are actually from the same show, Touch. Now, here's a little bit about Touch. First of all, before I get started, let's take a look at the intro to the anime Touch from 1983. Yeah, see, now Touch was uh, written by a guy named Mitsuru Adachi. Hey, I'm sure there's a lot of words in English Japanese people will mangle. So if I'm an English preacher and I'm going to mangle the Japanese... It's totally global. We're all screwing up each other's languages. But we're just going to say it's Mitsuru Dachi, okay? He wrote the manga. You know, those books you read from the back to the front? Because we in the West can't figure that out. It blows our mind how their books are backwards. It's good stuff. But anyway, he wrote that, sold over 100 million copies of the manga. Super popular, one of the more popular mangas of all time in Japan. They just developed it into an anime, TV series, over 100 episodes, won awards. Then you're like, well, well, why is it not over here in America? I looked it up online. I tried. I looked on Crunchyroll, Verve, a bunch of other places, and you can't find it but with subtitles. They have yet to dub it in English and westernize it because unlike other animes where you can make excuses for things, like you've seen this in Pokemon where guys eat a piece of sushi and like, oh, this, this, the... Uh, Cake roll is great. And it's like, that's, that's nigiri, bro. That ain't even a cake roll. You're lying. They can kind of fudge it a little bit and make it kind of more Western. And, ex and this isn't. There's a lot of things in here where <coughs> you can't fake it. It's very Japanese cultural centric. Another thing is the West, we like our, you know, <clears throat> action packed fighting all the time. And that's not here. Uh, so the style, it, it's a soap opera. It's a drama. It's a drama that is cool, though, because it's about a teenage guy, his twin brother, and he plays baseball. And he's got to balance his life of baseball with his love life. There's girls he's interested in, and he's traveling around the country, and he wants to nothing more because his hormones are raging to be with his girl. But he's got baseball to think of, too. And, it, you know, it's a good show. I can see why it was popular. But Touch. That is uh, the name of the show. Real popular. And these three volumes are songs from the show. Each one has its own theme, uh, feeling, or setup. There's usually an intro song at the beginning, another one or two vocalized songs throughout it, and then an exit song. Uh, and then it's filled with incidental background music, which is all lovely and beautiful. Very well done. The gentleman that, is, that does that, and I'm going to butcher his name too, trust me on that, is Hiroki Sarazawa, uh, H-I-R-O-A-K-I, Sarazawa. Yeah, he uh, has five volumes of this. I only have the three, but he also does a lot of other music for a lot of other anime. So he was like the go-to guy for a lot of anime shows. So if you've ever watched anime from 1985, all these records are from 85, and you like that era of music, it was probably his. So let's take a little closer look at the records themselves, shall we? First one is Music Flavor 1 Touch. Nice OB strip. You open it up, it's a gatefold. A lot of scenes from the show. Look at that. And then on the back, very well made. Very sturdy, not flimsy cardboard by any sense. All of them came with inserts. And the record was inside the insert, like this, so it's not like an inner sleeve. It's only folded over on one side. 
and it would have track listings, scenes from the show, and on the inside, some more. Look at that. They all came with the uh, rice paper half circle bags. I'm keeping them with it, but I have replaced them all with my disc keepers. And that is what the vinyl and the disc looks like. Now let's move on to volume two. So in volume one, he's in high school. He's got graduating soon. And volume two is a little more focused on, uh, he finally gets his girl. Here's the co cover. And as you can see, there is some wedding stuff going on. He does get married. Look at that. And then there's on the back. Now, little fun factoid here. This cat right here has kittens. In the manga, the actual book, it's female and has kittens. In the TV show, it's male and he adopted some kittens he found in an alley. Why would you need to do that? I don't know. But in translation, something in Japan, that just seemed like a maybe the behavior of the cat was more masculine. And so they just wanted to make the cat male, but then they had the kitten thing they had to worry about. I don't know. But that is the cover for volume two. And then the insert for volume two. There's the cat again. There's the married. And there. Look at that. And then we move on to volume three. This is music flavor number three. And uh, as you can see now, uh, now are they married now, they done got themselves naked. This isn't hentai. You're not going to see any of that. No tentacles or things like that. But uh, this is a little more. You can see he's actually on a professional team, not on his high school. Hi, kids. It's editing, Steve. So when I started recording this, I would watched a few episodes, a handful. And so I talked a lot of what my presumptions were and what I thought at the time. And I was wrong in a lot of it. So editing Steve is going to come in here and uh, update you with what I found out. Over 100 episodes, right? Well, in episode 24 going to 25, the baseball playing brother, um, there was the one that played baseball, and then the other brother was a little bit of the lazier one. Well, we had saw clues going throughout this whole thing that Tatsia, who is the lazy brother, actually was probably more of a skilled, gifted athlete than his brother, Kazia, who, you know, was the one playing baseball. Um, and they were having the love triangle with Miname, uh, which is the girl, and uh, it was kind of a thing, and I think that's what I thought the show was going to be about. I was wrong. Episode 25, the baseball playing brother, Kazuya, dies. Gets hit by a truck, and there's still 75 episodes or more left. That's not what the show is about. It starts now, from what I've watched, it's going into the brother that was lazy, but yet more gifted, starts to take the place of the brother. He becomes serious, a little more organized, goes onto the baseball team and starts taking his place to try to fulfill his brother's hopes and dreams. And now there's not really a love triangle anymore. It's getting really good. There's some good writing there. It threw me completely off. I was not expecting one of the main characters to croak a third of the way into the show, not even a half of the way. So, yeah. What I say later about this later on, just keep that in mind that I hadn't watched that far into it yet. Wow. All right. Back to my show. Take care, guys. Team, she's now on a rhythmic gymnastics team. They follow through. Again, it's a, like a drama, and it's a serial. Over 100 episodes, they all grow and mature. Uh, they grow and mature into a lot of more adult things. And Okay, that, again, looks like adult things, but <clears throat> trust me, that's not what it looks like. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. So that is the cover, and here is the last insert. The cat has gotten older, a little more grayer. Here he is with boxing gloves on in a boxing match. I haven't watched that episode yet, but they are doing the kitschy smoochy smooch. And uh, maybe they got kids at this point. Trust me, I haven't watched 100 episodes yet, okay? <laughs> 
that's gonna take some time but there we go touch there we are so also in one of the records i found this it looks like a cutout from a magazine and there's japanese on the back too it's just a piece of like you know newspaper magazine paper but uh keeping that with it too don't know so awesome um, these all are 33 and a third 12 inch records. All the rest of them I'm going to show you in the following next videos are all going to be 45 RPM 12 inch records. And they're not going to be singles, they're mini records as they call them. Should be interesting. But it doesn't matter if it's 45, doesn't matter if it's 33 and a third, doesn't matter if it's American, doesn't matter if it's Japanese, doesn't matter if it's anime, doesn't matter all if it's. All vinyl lives matter. All vinyl lives matter. You guys know all vinyl lives matter. All right? Take care. See you next week with another one. What will it be about? I don't know. But as I leave, I'll leave you with a little more from Touch. So have a great week. Stay safe. Don't go anywhere you're not supposed to. Stay away from people. Be like I am normally. Take care. うん、仕方ないな。あ、気なしょ、かっちゃん。あ、行ってらっしゃい。ごゆっくり。ビー。ペン。人が気を利かせてやってんのが分かんねえのかな。だからさ、これこのじっくりお知り合いになりゃいい